hi guys how are you doing i hope that you're all doing good and keeping safe i'm doing good i'm keeping safe and i thank god so much for giving us this opportunity to have this talk with you guys in case we are meeting for the first time you can call me uh Dengashir muturi or you can call me mama light okay so today is one of those tmi videos and today we are talking about shocking things about pregnancy that nobody tells you about especially if you're a first-time mom and uh, you know sometimes you just live and you come across these things and you're like no what am I supposed to be doing should I go to the hospital is this no more hmm? you know what I mean so today we will be talking about some of the things that we encounter during pregnancy so that if you're pregnant you can be aware of some of these things um if you're planning to be pregnant in future maybe this video will be of great help to you so if you're interested in watching today's video be sure to give this video a like subscribe drop a comment and let's do it <laughs> With no one in, swept me off my feet. It was a deadly dance, and I knew if I stayed, I would never leave. Cause you had my heart. So, one of the things to expect when you get pregnant is that um, your nipples will get itchy. I don't know whether that is TMI, but let me tell you guys, since the time I got pregnant and delivered my baby, I have come to learn that some of, the, some of these things are not TMI because sometimes you go to the antenatal clinic and you just talk to your doctor, you tell the doctor what you're experiencing until you get used to those things. So I don't know whether this thing is TMI to you or not, but to me, I don't think they are TMI, but if it is TMI for you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So one thing that you encounter when you get pregnant is that your nipples become itchy. Yes, they become itchy. That is so normal. Nothing to worry about. Um, I noticed that they become itchy until you deliver. Imagine. So you will go through all that during pregnancy. I think this is what every woman goes through. Let me get to know in the comment section if you ever got pregnant and didn't have itchy nipples. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing that you encounter during pregnancy is that um, your areola for the boob becomes darker and it grows bigger. Yes, that is normal. There's nothing to scare you there, you know. So it gets bigger and darker uh, so that it can be conspicuous. Uh, in a way that your baby will be able to see it when breastfeeding and uh, it will be easier for them to breastfeed so in case you see me looking down there just know that i have highlighted uh, them on my phone so that i don't miss out on any i have actually a couple of them 23 things <laughs> yeah and the other thing to expect during pregnancy is that um you will have leakage of milk in your third trimester you guys you're pregnant um you have not given birth yet but in your third trimester especially on your eighth and ninth month your nipples will start leaking milk i remember when i used to take tea maybe black tea then um in t-shirt you know when you're at home and you're pregnant you really yeah brow or something so <laughs> You take hot drinks, you eat, and then you lick milk, and you have not even given birth. So that's so normal. It's just your body. It's, it's just because your body is prepping itself uh, for birth, and when the baby comes, your body will be ready. It will be ready. Another thing to expect is that sometimes you get um, vaginal pain or pressure down there. Does this sound TMI? <laughs> guys but that is true sometimes you get pain or pressure down there because especially on your second and third trimester because when the baby uh, if for example the baby has turned and the head is facing down that means that 
the baby is pressing your bladder and you get the pelvic bone and everything down there and that's why you get pressure or pain i remember when i entered the third trimester i was in supermarket and i started feeling some pain i told my husband i think the baby is coming out and i was scared so i contacted my sisters because they have experienced uh giving babies for giving birth to two babies like every sister has two babies i asked them i asked my mom and they told me that is so normal that is so normal i asked my doctor and she was like yeah that is normal but in case you see any discharge now it, it becomes a red flag mm -hmm. so yeah when you get pregnant expect to have um to feel that pain stroke pressure okay <laughs> another thing to expect when you get pregnant is that um you will feel discomfort when you eat too much food so let me tell you you will just eat you eat but sometimes because of the cravings and you being hungry you end up overfeeding and then the aftermath of overfeeding guys you will feel so much discomfort in your stomach because you will feel like your stomach is about to burst because it is overstretched the baby and, the, and your stomach being so much full so expect feeling so much discomfort in case you overfeed or you eat too too much uh, another thing to expect during pregnancy is the random cramping here and there you may cramp um, around your stomach legs anywhere guys even the ear the leg especially the leg when you're sleeping guys let me get to know whether there's a day that you cramped and you felt like your muscle like you have a muscle pull on your leg for me it happened once and i cried i remember like how it felt i cried because it was so much painful so expect to have cramps here and there people and uh, experience cramps differently some will have them in the stomach all the muscles around the stomach the leg the hand sometimes on the neck so expect to have cramps here and there uh, another um, um another thing to ex to maybe uh, expect when you're pregnant is that sometimes when the baby is sitting in the womb they will kick and their legs will pressure your bladder and sometimes it is uncomfortable you be like <laughs> you know so if they are sitting down or if the baby is a uh, bridge so they will they will like kick and then they will be kicking your bladder and you will feel the discomfort so nothing bad to worry about it's just the baby enjoying being in your womb so enjoy enjoy his stay okay <laughs> or her stay another thing to experience or to expect another thing to expect when you're pregnant is that uh, your hair grows long and sometimes it becomes fluffy and let me tell you guys after you have given birth please take your um postpartum supplements to prevent your hair from shedding because some hair shed after delivery because it grew longer and uh, in um, in volume and please please take your supplements to prevent the hair shedding okay another thing to expect when you get pregnant is that um you will have the pregnancy brain let me tell you what that means sometimes you forget things totally because i don't know what happens uh, when you get pregnant most of the things that you think is about your baby like you're thinking about you becoming a mom uh like the new you you know all those things so uh you can expect um just expect that sometimes you will have mommy prints where you will forget things for me most of the times i could forget my phone let me get to know whether you had the mommy brain or forgetting things here and there or the pregnancy brain where you could forget things here and there and before you notice you're like oh my god i'm just pregnant why is this thing happening <laughs> you know uh, another thing to expect when you get pregnant is that your feet uh, get bigger yeah and sometimes the shoes that you're wearing right now if you're not pregnant at some point you may not wear them this is because you have blood that is flowing at a higher rate and sometimes you are like uh, you have a lot of pressure on your feet so they get bigger and uh, you need you might need to adjust the size of the shoes that you wear but after you deliver your baby your foot goes to normal and uh, you can wear your normal shoes okay 
uh, another thing to expect when you get pregnant is uh, pregnancy congestions or heart palpitation yes sometimes your heart will beat at a very higher rate and sometimes you will feel your nose congested i don't know what happens for the heart uh, beating at a higher rate it's because it is pumping blood faster because the blood is going to the baby like the blood is circulating in you and going to the baby at the same time about congestion i think it's because of allerg allergies that come as a result of you being pregnant so i so expect that uh, sometimes you might have the nose congestion and sometimes the heart palpitations okay okay guys so nothing much to worry about but if it is continuous especially the heart palpitation you can go see your doctor if uh, it is the congestion if it is becoming intense in a way that you are experiencing difficulty in breathing you can go and see your doctor okay another thing to expect when you get pregnant is that uh, you will have morning sickness not all the time sometimes the morning sickness may not happen in the morning it may happen during lunch hour at night in the evening or you may not even have morning sickness so morning sickness may not necessarily come in the morning sometimes it may come during the day at night or even in the evening so yeah it will be there or it may not be there let me get to know in the comment section whether you had morning sickness if you had what did you do for me i don't think i had and let me also get to know whether you used to experience the morning sickness maybe later in the day not in the morning or at night you know so let me get to know in the comment section but expect morning sickness you may encounter it or not and sometimes it may happen during the day sometimes in the morning or at night okay another thing to expect when you get pregnant is that sometimes you might encounter constipation so for me i got constipation after delivery but i didn't have when i was pregnant but uh, one of my sisters told me that they encountered um constipation like they experienced it so this is because your body is taking a lot from you especially the water and uh, maybe the baby in the womb is pressing your intestines and all leading to constipation so yeah if it is continuous just take a lot of water see your doctor if it is continuous i'm so sure that they will give you some medication that will help you loosen your stool and uh, you will be good say i will be good <laughs> you will be good guys another thing to consider or to expect is uh cravings yes you will have cravings some might be horrible some will not you know like for me I remember having a craving for eating chapati that is spread with jam and I was like when did I ever eat chapati that is spread with jam I even remember asking my sisters whether actually I was texting them telling them hey have you tried chapati with jam it is damn sweet and then they were like no I can't eat that and I was like why the way it is sweet you know so expect cravings people experience um, or uh, they experience different cravings I don't know what you experience let us get to know in the comment section if you're still pregnant tell us what you are uh, craving at the moment okay another thing to expect during pregnancy is that sometimes you'll have sensitive teeth and gum and even tongue sometimes that you will we'll get to them the soles so yeah i think the best thing that you can do is to keep taking your supplements so that uh, you can continue supplying your body with supplements you can see a doctor and uh, the doctor will guide you because i understand what it can mean to have sensitive teeth and uh, bleeding gum you know another thing to expect during pregnancy is that guys when you are in bed it becomes hard to turn i will not even lie to you i mean you can't even lie on your back and maybe you're used to sleeping on your back or even like uh, using your stomach like you're sleeping on your stomach like the stomach facing down and that sleep slaps well guys i don't know but when you get pregnant you can only sleep on your side and sometimes you are advised to sleep on your left or right remind me moms and sometimes it can get uncomfortable and sometimes you even want to turn and you, you have to take like whole minutes whole number of minutes to turn and it is so uncomfortable especially in the third trimester so 
that one i think it's for every mom i don't think that there is any mom who has never experienced uh hardship when it comes to turning in bed when pregnant i don't think so so yeah expect that so that you don't feel like it is awkward or it is the only thing like you are the only person who is going through that another thing uh, expect emotions here and there yes sometimes you'll get mad at yourself at your husband at your workmates heightened emotions guys hmm? just control yourself sometimes just tell yourself it's never that serious because sometimes it's never that serious uh, don't take life harshly learn to control yourself sometimes it, it it may not be possible but again don't overdo sometimes when you realize or notice that you have heightened emotions just compose yourself and you will be good trust you me you will be good another thing to expect when you're pregnant is that um your stomach will be itchy especially as your stomach stretches um over the months your the 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 the, the, the top part of the stomach or the stomach starts getting itchy it's because of the effects of stretching and sometimes after delivery you'll get stretch marks so don't be scared about stretch marks it's so okay it's so fine to have stretch marks as a mom and that reminds me of another thing to expect your body will change you might lose weight you might add weight and sometimes you will even have stretch marks mm, don't start being so harsh on yourself worrying about your postpartum postpartum body it's so normal it's so okay congratulations for giving birth to a baby okay another thing to expect when um, you get pregnant is that uh, sometimes you will fart a lot I mean you will fart like and it smells so bad I don't know why I don't know why it's because maybe you have a lot of gas in the stomach a lot of gas in the stomach so you just fart especially in the third trimester is that TMI <laughs> again if you're not in for tmi talk as i told you you can give this video a like please exit we meet in the next video okay uh the next thing that uh, you should expect when you get pregnant is that uh, sometimes you'll have a lot of vaginal discharge yes it is so healthy sometimes you will sweat so have um panty liners bath oftenly uh, hygiene should be at the top notch there's a video I shared with you on the hygiene tips for ladies please exercise that so that you don't have um, the UTIs during pregnancy okay another thing to expect when you get pregnant is that uh, you might get gestational diabetes or hypertension uh, this one will be monitored by your doctors every time you go for antenatal visits they will uh, monitor they will see whether your urine has high blood sugars uh, levels and uh, maybe your blood pressure as they take it your blood pressure and uh, all those things they will measure so just go for antenatal clinic so that they can monitor those things and so that you will get help and uh, um, you get protected when you're pregnant okay Another thing to consider during pregnancy is that uh, you will have a thick black line running from the navel down in the middle of your stomach. I don't know the science behind it. I honestly don't know. But what I know is that you get a thick black line and sometimes your stomach might be dark in color. It might become so much black or it will have patches. I honestly don't understand the theory behind it. If you know the theory, tell us in the comment section. But expect that and um, yeah I think that is uh, basically what uh, I needed to share with you guys there's so many things that people normally experience differently so let us know in the comment section what I did not mention what you went through what you experienced so that we can help upcoming moms those guys who are pregnant because sometimes pregnancy can drive you crazy i mean it so let's share in the comment section again if you have not given this video thumbs up give it a thumbs up subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next video and i'll see you in the next video bye guys and i love you so much
swept me off my feet It was a deadly dance And I knew if I stayed I would never leave Cause you had my heart In your hands Soft like a summer And then It was a deadly dance And I knew if I stayed I wouldn't stand a chance Thumb